Oh, there's a sunshine. Oh. You sing it, girl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just a big old girl. There we go. Hey everyone, welcome to Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. I volunteer here and today I wanted to introduce you to a few different dogs and some cats. And we're going to start off with our big new girl. This is Zena. And Zena, she is an opera singer, just so you know that. She has a fabulous bass voice and she loves to sing in joy. Um, she's here because of no fault of her own. Um, her owner lost their housing and they just couldn't bring her with her. Um, here, let's see, here at the kennel, she is just a joyous, happy creature. Um, hi, girl. What I love about her, she's, let's see, she's nine years old, so a good adult, hilarious energy. She is right now looking at her play yard because she loves to run. Do not let this girl's gray face convince you that she's older than she is. She absolutely gallops, jogs, jumps into the air, playing with toys, sniffing oh. around. There it is. Yes. I knew we'd get a good bay out of you. But, you know, loud, enthusiastic, oh. <laughs> happy girl. Um, let's see. Things, hi, sweetheart. It's really nice to see you. Thanks for cleaning my nostrils. I really appreciate that. Oh, great. Classic, beautiful hound colors on her. It's so nice to see you. Let's see. Restrictions on her. Um, she's good with, um, good with other dogs, you know, the introductions. Um, no one cats. She is a good hound. She loves to smell and follow small critters. Um, and then kids. Uh, I believe she's good on kids as well, too. So she's a nice girl. If you haven't had a hound before, I absolutely love owning a hound. They're just their joy, their enthusiasm, and just their good old nature. They really do deserve that reputation of just a good companion. But if you have some place to let a dog run, bay, and enjoy a little bit of operatic singing in your life, Zena, Zena's the girl, Zena's the girl. She's like, I want to run, I want to run. What is that? Did you just hear a bird? Zena, you want to go? You want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, there she is. Oh, see, I told you. I ran out here. Let's do a little run. There she goes. Do you want to come out? Oh, and everybody, look at this face. We have a great selection of cats right here. And all the cats we're going to look at today, they're here because their owners had to move into assisted living facilities. So these are all very super well-loved pets, and their, their owners' lives simply changed. Izzy here is a young girl. She's just three, four years old, and I had her so playing earlier with a toy. Come on in. Let's see all those fun colors. You want to see them? Come on out. Come on out. I know. You're like, I just finished my breakfast. Can't they digest? What's that? What's that? Up here, up here. Oh. She's like, I don't know. Is that feather going to give me? Here, let's see those cute spots. She has spots all along her toes. Great golden eyes. And this is a girl, let's see, things to know about her. Um, you know, wide open as far as, you know, kids, cats, other dogs. She's in here because she's on a special diet. Um, like a number of cats, she just has some urinary um, some just special urinary food that she has to have. Oh, do you see that orange spot? Um, oh, what was that? What was that? But I have to say, I just brought a new cat home from Lucy McKenzie a few months ago. And they make me laugh every day. But How old is she again? And she's, I believe, three. Okay, let me do a quick check. Oh, you are so fun. He's just watching. And with her, you know, she also does well with other cats. You know, as long as you have some friendly cats at home, she would definitely make a good, you know, first, second oh, cat. Oh, there, there are out. those spots. Out. Look at that painted fun patterns. Oh, right there. Oh, oh there, you are just so cute. Look at you. But if you've never had a, a toy driven play for a cat, just the acrobatics, the giggles, the laughter, 
in my house when we can get our cat playing everything else stops and everyone just gathers around to watch you know best entertainment here she comes okay thank you izzy thank you izzy pizzy What's his name? this is tyler he's one of the newest pups here at the shelter and hi handsome he is oh my gosh if our big hound dog is an open book this fellow is just a quirky little character oh good oh did you get his blue eye my favorite characteristic is when he gets excited he'll open up those eyes and you just see this little that blue gives him a little a little glint of mischief for sure hi handsome hi handsome hey did i see a tennis ball over there did i did I? But let's see. Um, Tyler, um, Tyler here. He's here because hi, because like so many animals at the shelter, his. I got, yeah. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Hi. Um, like so many animals, he was loved for so many years. Um, he's just about five, six years old, and his owners just couldn't find housing that they could have him with. And so again, he's here just because he's looking for another place to live. Um, he's a fun little boy. <laughs> oh God, up the nostrils again. I have the cleanest nostrils this week. Oh, hi. Um, let's see. Um, this little fellow, good with kids, other dogs, pending introductions. Um, I even think he's a cat friendly dog as well too. Um, and he's just a dog that has a boundless energy in his little body. Um, he loves to run out in our exercise yards. Hi, handsome. Just always awake, always curious. Um, this is a dog that would be really good for someone who's looking for some blatant entertainment in their lives. Um, you would be getting a fun little clown with this boy. Fun little clown, my quirky clown. Oh, with all that energy, agility, obedience on here. Um, he is just always, always just ready to go, but just in that, you know, in that open curiosity to the world. Oh, that's a did you just pose like an AKC model right there? That was a really good pose. Um, let's see, Here, let's take your face shot there. Gorgeous, fun little face there. Polka dots, different colored eyes. Ears that go up and down and up and down. There you are, there you are. Thank you for saying your own two cents. Your own two cents right there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and definitely a dog if you haven't had a zoomy dog in your life before. His zooms are hilarious too. Hi, hi, you just want to go running. You just want to go running. It's all ice. I know. I'll get some cleats out and take you out later this morning. How's that? <laughs> but no, um, he's a dog that, you know, being turned into the shelter was hard on him. Um, his first couple of weeks, really tough. He was so nervous, so afraid. And just getting to see him coming out, coming out of his shell the last couple of weeks has been just so nice. Um, it's a hard transition to be turned in. And then at this point, he's definitely getting comfortable, getting good, meeting new people. And hi, are you, what are you doing back there? But good meeting new people and just, you know, looking for his next chance, looking for his next, hi, his next chance. And if you, I, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, hi, handsome. <laughs> But no, he truly is one of our funniest dogs here right now. So if you're looking for some laughter in your life, this is a boy that definitely would. A little Tyson. A little Tyson. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, I know. I know you. Again, I'm a sucker. So much slobber. I just have to take it for you. Hi, Ty. Everybody, this is Cassie. Oh, when she comes out, she is such a fluffy creature. She is a beautiful orange tiger, fluffy and chubby. And a sweet. what's amazing about her is somebody loved the squirrel so much. She's super affectionate here as a putter, but she came in as a stray. So really somebody lost a wonderful cat. And right now she's just looking for, there she goes. <laughs> She's just looking for a new home. Hi, you pretty girl. She was out strutting about earlier today. Hi. And she has these cute little dark spots. Oh, there you are all along her face. But I definitely have someone, had someone the other day who was like, I just want a big fluffy cat. That's who she wanted in her life. And it's not often we get some good long hair cats in here too. But sweet, easygoing cat. 
Um, she's definitely a one cat only home. She doesn't appreciate other cats in company. So if you're just looking for a sweet sun soaker, lovey girl, this is yours. There she is. There she is. <laughs> oh, um, so sorry for the haircut there. No, it's like a lion's mane. I know, I Amazing. know. Amazing. I wonder if she's an Angora or something. Oh, oh. just purebred. I know, she is a beautiful creature. But yes, here, Baba. That one. How can I? <laughs> hi, Baba. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi. This is our big red headed Baba. And I have been on a campaign in the last couple of months to change his name to Bubbles because he is much more of a bubble than a bubba. But we have been calling him Bubblicious as well. And Bubba here, let's see, this is, <laughs> hi, hi, handsome. Let's see, uh, this big guy, he's, oh, how old are you now? Six or seven? Do you want me to take your whole tee off? We have him just on a walking harness on his head. And that's just because he is such a big guy. It helps just keep control of his mass for easy walking. He is actually the best dog I have ever seen use the walking harness right here. Um, just so good wearing it. Um, this fellow, he is a people dog. Once he loves you, he loves you. His, his entire body just wiggles in joy every time I get to see him. If you feel like you've never had that person that worshipped you in your life, Bubba is a dog that will worship the ground you walk on. What do you smell, boy? What do you smell? What do you smell? Yeah, 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 I know. Um, <laughs> he's just, um, oh yeah, he has this, I mean, and the sun today just doing him great glory. He has this wonderful glowing red coat from nose to tip. He has a little bit of a white patch right on his chest, right, bub? Yep, a little couple of freckles there. And the first hint of gray around your muzzle. Um, favorite things about this boy. Um, let's see, Bob, how old are you? Six-ish? I think six-ish. Okay. So in those middle years. Um, and he's here again. You know, no fault of his own. Um, his owners just couldn't find housing that would let him, you know, let him stay. A oh, beautiful boy. Um, fun things about him is he loves, to, his favorite thing is to go for walks. Um, loves to play and play out on a walk. Great sniffing dog. Um, but he has a super gentle mouth. Um, he's a dog that we can give all the steffies to, and he's never broken open a single one of them. He also has the best bed in the shelter. He has an honest to goodness, comfy giant mattress that he sprawls out on, which means if you're looking for a bed warmer in the winter, this is your big source of heat right here too. Hey, bub. Oh, and the cutest thing that he does when he sleeps, uh, he goes under the blankets. So if you ever want to lose an 80 pound dog under your blankets, this is your boy. Bubba Dabbush, Bubba Dabbles, how you doing? How you doing? It's so nice to see you. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Hi. Hi. Oh, am I going to try to turn you into a lap dog? And this is the best lap dog of Lucy McKenzie. Look at that. How's that? No, 80 pounds of lap isn't going to, is it? no, no one's going to believe that. But he's a sweet love. Um, and truly, watching this dog just light up when he sees you. Um, and you pull out that leash and he is just a bouncing little kangaroo of joy. Hey, bub. Hey, bubbles. What you doing, little bubblicious? What you doing, little bubblicious? You know it's you. Um, let's see. As, um, as a big, strong dog, he's definitely a dog that needs to go to a, you know, a dog-savvy person. He's not a first-time dog if you're just trying to, um, you know, meet and use a, and meet and have a dog for the first time. Um, let's see, let this fellow, um, older kids, just because of his size and bulk. Um, no, and I, I think no cats, no other dogs. So he is, you know, he is a one dog household because, hey, when you have one to worship you, you don't need more. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, is that your spot? Is that your spot? Is that your spot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> You're so funny. You're just the funniest boy. Aren't you the funniest? <laughs> oh my gosh. And hey, we have a couple of cats right here. Oh, what was that? Did that just get you? Did that just get you? 
we have uh, Maria and Nina right here. Nina is our black and white. Uh, Maria over here is a beautiful gray brown tabby with a medium long coat. They came in together um, again because their owner had to go to assisted living cares. Um, again, this, they're just five years old, so they're young cats. They're a bonded pair. They spent their whole life together. And they are just two easy going cats. Uh, right now, they're hanging out on the high canopy walks that the Humane Society has in our shared cat room. Oh. Everyone, this is Nina right here. Oh gosh, she is going to sniff that camera. Uh, Nina's five years old. She's here with her sister Maria. Um, and Nina's a black and white Oreo cat. Nina uh, Maria over there is a beautiful kind of medium hair, brown gray tabby. Both super mellow cats. Um, right now they're hanging out at the top of our catwalk in our big community room. Um, climbing up high as cats love to do. Um, they came together as a bonded pair, so if you're looking for a couple of cats just to liven up and add some just sweet presents to your home, these are your two. Now, if you don't want a wild, crazy kitten in your life, Sammy is the cat for you. So, hi, sweetheart. Sammy is 15, so a nice, sweet senior. And he came here because his senior owner, again, had to move into different housing. But Sammy's good with strangers, easygoing cat. If you need a black cat in your life, you're the one, you pretty boy. Um, Sammy did come in with um, another cat as well, too. I can just see Piper's nose. Um, she's watching us as we say hi over here. But easygoing cat. And the seniors, if one of my recommendations always, if you've never had a cat before or a dog before, starting with an older pet is a wonderful way to get to know, uh, you know, get to know a new type of critter. Oh, Sam, did I just see you have just the tiniest speck of white on your chest. But we have everything in here from, you know, young adult cats to our seniors here. If you're looking for some good companionship, a little bit of love and affection. Come and check out some of the cats at Lucy McKenzie.